well, you'll see the five circles here represent various high-impact practices, otherwise known as HIPs. The first circle represents creative activity. That can include a number of uh, creative works such as performing arts, visual arts, music, theater, dance. The second icon says, hello, my name is Intern. That represents internships, and there are a variety of internship opportunities for SDSC students to pursue. We'll talk about those a little bit later on. The third circle is representative of service learning, courses on campus that require a community component in which you're involved in some kind of engaged community service project. The fourth circle with the jet plane that represents international engagement or study abroad. And the last one with the microscope represents undergraduate research. Here are five good reasons to be hip. Apply what you're learning in class in a real world setting. Two, learn from working with diverse people. Three, get critical feedback from faculty and or employers to improve your skills. Four, gain a competitive edge for future career or graduate studies. And five, Here are some HIP student resources that might be helpful to you as you explore uh, future HIP possibilities for yourself. And of course, we have social media. Please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And post your pictures of your involvement in HIPs. We'd love to see those. I really like theater arts because I get to I get to make stuff and I get to make it with people and then I get to share that with other people. I don't think there's anything more rewarding or engaging than creating a piece of art. So um, I'm the president of an organization, Teatro Azteca, which um, our goal is to bring diverse and empowering theater to SDSU and the nearby San Diego area. And so we've, uh, we've put on two musicals. Um, I've written the script and the lyrics and my friend has written the music. She's a music major from a different background than I am and we collaborate and we make something that's really fun. And then we pull a film major to be director and we pull actors, we've had actors that are accounting majors, engineering majors, um, we've had two engineering majors. <laughs> and they sing and they've never sung or acted on stage before and they do it and it's a lot, it's a lot of fun. It's really rewarding because you have people that are experienced that have done theater since they were a kid and then you have people who are new to it and are just always trying to make stuff that is accessible. If you've never seen a play, that's fine. You can understand what we're going to do here. It'll be fun. That's um, kind of where the rubber hit, hits the road kind of, you know, when it comes to you know, school, school's there to teach you, you know, some of those basic skills and almost the theory, but it's up to you to put that in action. And I think um, there's always going to be things that come up in life, whether it's relationships, whether it's family, but you have to make the time. And I think the study abroad and the internships are, that, that's that vehicle to really get you where you need to go. So I really encourage any, any SSU student, especially freshman and sophomore, to, to make the time. It's don't wait until your junior or senior year, like start looking and doing now. And even if it's unpaid internships, those will turn into something. As a student, um, what the internship taught me is really how to schedule my time and how to um, just really um, structure myself and just be more organized. Before I had the internship and I was doing my prerequisites, I had too much free time, so what it did is force me to really structure my time, and I actually got the best grades I ever got while I was doing the internship and when I was you know, really busy. so. Um, that's what the internship, um, how, how it helped make me uh, a better student. Um, the internship program, I think that the study abroad program, they definitely shaped who I am. I came into state, I actually knew that I wanted to be a clinical psychologist coming into state. Um, 
I didn't know that I wanted to do research. So my, after my first research experience, I was like, oh, this is kind of fun. Like something I can see myself doing. Personal experience that you gain through ha doing research at state like really prepared me for, um, or hopefully will prepare me for graduate school. <laughs> And I think these friendships really make it worthwhile, but also um, there's an intrinsic value to doing research. Service learning is different from other courses because you're required to be involved in the community in some sense. And it's not just an hour or two, it's, it can be 10 to 20 hours where you have to interact with other members and then you come back to the course and then you explore what you learned and you get to share with your peers. The course was valuable to me because it was around election time. And I I voted before, but never as informed as I did this time around. We were required to look up a proposition and then present to the class, so I was aware about all the propositions for that ballot. And I was able to help my peers learn more about who's running and what the propositions actually mean because the wordings can be complicated. So that was nice. In class, typically, you read a book or you watch a video, and then you leave the class, and then that's about it. But for this course, we learned about something, and then we got to talk about it with other people and then see the people that were affected by it. brought in Milan. That was for half of it. That was in Italy. Amazing. I like to say it's the New York City of Italy. Everyone is running around, they're all in business suits, like trying to get their work done. Um, and then it also was another part in Lausanne, Switzerland. So that is in the French region. Basically just friendship. You find through these community service projects, through the study abroad, through your work experiences, friendships that last a lifetime. So especially studying abroad. You are in another country, it's scary, you don't know what's going on, who knows what's going to happen, but you're bonded with these people because you have this extreme experience where you're in another culture. Same with community service. You're able to see your real impact in someone's life because you're changing something in the community. Whether you're working one-on-one, -on -one, like building a house for a specific family that you can name, or by building a project where you're increasing awareness for breast cancer or some other cause, so. But push yourself a little bit more. See how far you can expand your comfort zone because you have a lot of potential and you know what? The world is your oyster. <laughs> <laughs>